Hi, I'm Dr. Hannah Hamlin, and I'm going to talk about the Islet Insulin Pump by Beta Bionics. This is a really neat option on the market that can simplify diabetes management. It's a newer pump and one that I didn't know the ins and outs of the features really until I sat down with someone who specialized in it and had a conversation. And so I'm here to share with you some of the points about the Islet that may help you decide whether or not it's a great option for you. Now, I think anytime we're choosing diabetes technology, it's a personal choice. And what matters is where you are, what chapter of life, what your desires are, obviously what your insurance can cover. That's a huge barrier for a lot of people. Um, and then what you and your physician feel comfortable with together. And so this is discussing points about it and general education about the islet. But what I'd like to say first is that I think this pump is a really good option if someone would be in a place where they feel like they're experiencing a little bit of diabetes burnout that is impacting their desire to do the diabetes actions. So the management actions like taking our insulin, like checking our blood sugar, like doing the things that we need to do to keep things kind of in range. If we're, we're burnt out to the point where we're struggling with that, this might be a good choice for you. And the reason is that the company has really gone after simplifying diabetes care, making it as hands-off as possible almost would be a good way to phrase it. And, and really looking at what we can do in order to improve quality of life around diabetes from minimizing the actions that we have to take. And so the way that this pump works is pretty different than the other ones on the market, in my opinion, and it allows you to only enter meals and it doesn't ask you to necessarily count your carbs. It asks you to estimate if you're eating a average meal, a bigger meal than average or a smaller meal than average. And that's about it. So the way that you set this thing up is you sit down obviously with your prescriber or the people on the team to help you get started with it, but it only asks for your weight as a start. So we're not trying to estimate all of these settings of carb ratios and sensitivity factors. It's just gonna start with your weight and it's gonna use that to estimate how much insulin you need. Now, the first couple of days, it's going to learn your trends. And what I've heard is that the first couple of days starting this islet pump, your blood sugars are not gonna be ideal because it's in learning mode. Um, so what you would expect the first couple of days wouldn't be how you would expect your blood sugar to be the rest of the time that you're using it. You kind of have to wait it out a little bit in order for it to learn you. And so what it does is it's going to estimate how much insulin that you need based on these things. And you'll tell it when you're eating again, a small, medium, or large meal, and it will be able to give you that meal bolus. Now, it doesn't ask you to do any corrections. So if your blood sugar is not where you want it to be, let's say you ate a meal and your blood sugar was up in the 200s and you would normally give yourself a correction or you would normally know that you needed to give yourself a correction, it will do that for you. And so you don't have to think about your diabetes outside of just telling it when you eat and kind of ballparking what you're gonna eat with one of those estimation buttons. This is different and the outcomes are quite good. From my interpretation, looking at multiple studies done on the islet, if someone's hemoglobin A1C was above maybe an 8% on average, this could be a good option because the data is pretty clear that although you're doing maybe the same amount of work as you currently would be, it can decrease hemoglobin A1C down into the seven range, which is great. And you'd feel a lot better. Your long-term chronic disease kind of health outcomes, side effects, things, complications that could happen in the future, your risk of those would decrease. I think personally, when I know how I feel when my blood sugar is a 7% hemoglobin A1C versus a 6%, it's a big difference in how I feel day to day. It represents how many lows I'm having, how many highs I'm having, how often I feel good in stable range, or how often I feel brain fog because I'm high or because I'm low. And I do think it would help people feel better without putting an additional burden of all these extra steps that you have to do. Obviously, any insulin pump, you're going to have to wear the insulin pump. You're going to have to change the insulin pump out. You're going to have to wear the continuous glucose monitor that it talks to, and you're going to have to change that out as well. But I do think the islet is a great option for that. Now, I don't think it's only a good option for people who are experiencing burnout or have hemoglobin A1Cs higher than 8%. And again, that's my personal opinion. That's not uh, a standard medical opinion. 
I, I think that for somebody who has an A1C in the sevens or high sixes who is not wanting to take as many actions, that is wanting to feel like they're living a more normal life, who's wanting to take some of the mental burden, the capacity of how many things we have to do and how often we think about diabetes out of the picture for a little while, this is another great option. So I think the eyelid is a good choice in general. A lot of great choices on the market right now. Definitely great for simplifying things. One of the things that that would be helpful to know about the eyelid is that it collaborates with the Dexcom and it collaborates with Freestyle Libre. That's quite nice just depending on your insurance coverage if it only covers one or the other. I hope this video was helpful for you.